What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, we're going to be talking about the cheapest way to get any Team of the Year card. Obviously, if you guys have been following my channel for a very, very long time, you guys would have gotten your free player already, your Team of the Year player, by you know by trading in your tokens. If you haven't been subscribed, do yourself a favor right now. Click the subscribe button. It's free. It's fine. Join the family. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to talk to you guys about right now, the token exchange. Like I said, you should have already received your free player. Um, if you have all the Team of the Year, uh, Team of the Week tokens, if you don't, uh, you kind of drop the ball on this one, my man. Um, it's kind of it's gonna be kind of bad for you, um, you know, going forward. So, uh, pretty much what I'm gonna show you guys right now, the cheapest way, and it's very very unique throughout this whole entire process with all the cards and all the packs that we've been getting. I've been trying to make sure you guys know that eventually you would need to have some of these players, like you would have a lot of these, um, you know, these cards that are needed for any player and stuff like that. Uh, collecting the packs, playing weekend league playing house rules getting these free cards are so critical because what it does is like right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys pretty much how i'm gonna start upgrading some of the players that i have all right so one of the players that we're gonna actually upgrade is the neil hunter right so well actually i could do miles garrett first because miles garrett is kind of you know with strength and everything else he's kind of a beast so we'll go ahead and complete a set first and remember all these cards that you see i already have them in my binder now Fred Warner just got a card, Miles Garrett just got a card, Christian McCaffrey, all these guys, but I don't know if anybody would be willing to pay for them, yet still, I'm going to put the other cards in for them, and not those main guys that are there, because I don't know, because they got Team of the Year or New Limiteds, if their price would be a little bit more hefty. Uh, this right here, we actually invested in 89 and 90s when we bought a lot of uh, the uh, Divine Diablos. So it works out for us because he didn't get a card, but yet still, we're still good. It's not a big deal. And then um, the 91 to 92s, we don't really have a card that we could put in uh, in this set because these are all power-up players. So, you know, we've been trying to do that for years. And, you know, if EA allowed us to power-up players to put in the sets, it would probably go too crazy. And EA Sports doesn't like it. So now we look at the fact that uh, the 91s that are available, it's about 62K. Now, are these the cheapest? We don't know that, right? We don't know if they're the cheapest, so we need to check that out. Uh, we also have uh, another free card that we got uh, from just playing the challenges in this 94 George Kittle. And unfortunately, you know, we can't put this guy in a set because he's powered up and uh, that's why he's like that, just to kind of show you guys what's going on. So we don't need the George Kittle right now. We'll just throw him there and we're going to need two 91 to 92s. So what we're going to do right now, I always want to make sure you guys understand when you click the button in the set, it's gonna take you to the overall that you're looking for. Not always the cheapest. So you need to bring yourself over to the auctions and trades and make sure that you're getting the cheapest because I will not tolerate you guys overspending. That's one of my pet peeves, bro. Like, don't overspend. Everything is kind of wild and you don't need to put yourself in a situation where you're overspending. We can look to see, um, you know, pretty much the 91s that are available. If they had 91s, those appear to be that. Um, let me see. You know what? Legends. Legends may be the move here. Um, for like a, like trying to find 91s. Because we saw them for like 62. Um, but the problem is, you know, you see like how we saw them at 62 and Junior Seau and Willie McGinnison. They're cheap. M Mel Renfro is at 50. You see how those guys, Willie McGinnis again, we can go and pretty much put in right end. Right? Or we could just put in Willie. And uh, what, what, what happens is we're going to get those cheaper versions. So now we can spend 98 instead of the 122 or whatever the 62 and 62, 124. We could spend a little bit less for the same cards that's going to go into the same set. But like I said, the filtering process is a little bad. So you would have to do it this way in order to save the most. And, uh, you know, like I said, I know it's like, you know, nickel and diming it, but we just saved coins there that we now can look to get, up, you know, more additional players on our squad. Because the name of the game with Ultimate Team, saving and putting together the best possible team. So once you figure out how you can do both those things, everything else becomes easier. So, you know, uh, the point of the matter is EA is never going to put you on the card that's the cheapest. They're never going to do it. So you have to go out of your way to make sure it gets done. So we would add these two in, right, that we just received, the Willie McGinnis, and we spent about 100K to complete the set to get one of the Team of the Year players, which is Miles Garrett. Now, we still have to do Daniil Hunter set, but we don't have the same amount of cards. So that's gonna also be a problem 
uh, for us. We're going to have to go ahead and figure out, you know, the best possible way to get, you know, the next player done because that's what we need uh, for our team. Uh, it shouldn't be as expensive, but I just wanted to go through it to let you guys see that it's very, very cheap to go set-wise if you've been listening up to this point and playing your challenges, playing house rules, playing head-to-head, -head, playing weekend league, because there's a lot of free currency that you get. So now when we look at the team, we now have one, two, three. We got Darren Wall, we got Trent Brown, we got Corderell Patterson, right? Now we go over to Miles Garrettson and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade him. And fortunately for us, we just need the card. So we just add him to the lineup, he gets boosted, we change his card art in the front, and then we're done. All right? Because he's not, we don't, we don't have a Browns theme team, but one of the bigger things about uh, this card itself is his strength. So we keep making him stronger. I would love to have, you know, the D linemen that have the chems for the theme team, because 99 strength on either side of the ball is very, very noticeable. But what's also noticeable is power move, finesse move, block shed. He has all three at higher levels. So he's going to perform a lot better for us. You know what I'm saying? When you put him in that 4-3 defense, he's gonna actually be a lot better. So now we have Daniil Hunter, all right? And um, as far as Chin goes, he's not fast enough, so we're not worried about him. I would love to put him in, but Jack Tatum is a Raider, so I, cause, and we play him at corner. Uh, Chin probably would go crazy at corner at 97 speed and 6-3, but I'm not willing to deal with it because Jack Tatum plays well for us. And Sean Taylor is uh, um, a 98 speed. So we don't really need to go crazy with that situation. You know, so we'll just leave that the way that it is. And then now we'll, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be doing next. We would obviously have to get Daniil Hunter. And you're gonna go through it based on the players that you want for your team. And you know what I'm saying? Get them done as cheap as possible. And it, you just keep repeating it. Now, if you have a lot of stuff, like let's say for instance, you got a lot of these cards, right? Like you, you, you've been grinding house rules, you've been doing all that stuff, and you got a lot of these cards. Like right now, I don't even care what the prices are of these guys. I'm just putting them in the sets and we're getting them done. And that's pretty much it, right? So we're gonna take th uh, another three of this guy, put him in the set. Now we need a 90, uh, 193 to 94 and 291 to 92s. So our job now with 205K is to figure out how we can get another, um, car like another car other cards done for that same price that we need. So we already saw with the 91s that, you know, which one were the cheapest ones, right? So we're gonna, we went back to Willie. We saw that, it, you know, 55 to 50 over here. But um, obviously when we clicked on it, if, oh, 41, oh, that's a 90. And why is, that's Ricky Williams. The hell is this about, dude? We almost bought him too. That would have been bad. So Willie McGinnison, 50K again. So we'll grab him for 50, all right? And then we'll look for another 91 that's relatively cheap. So that's 49, Greedy Williams. So that's the two that we need right there, okay? Now we go to the night, what was it? Uh, it's not, it's, what do we need? We need 91 to 92, and then we need a 93 to 94, right? I believe that's what it was. So we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna look for a 93. So his 93 is 69K, right? So we would just grab that, because that makes the most sense. I believe that, yeah, I believe it was 91 to 92. Actually, you know what? Before we actually do that, let's go make sure, because if I buy the card, and it happened to be a high overall, I'm gonna rage. So I know you guys remember what we did, but I like to always double check. And uh, pretty much we, we're gonna be able to get two of the cards uh, done relatively cheap. All right, not team of the week, team of the year. And we're going to Daniil Hunter right there. And then we're gonna add these two in, because we already know what these guys are. We are Greedy Williams and Willie McGinnison. And then this guy, we just saw one for 69K. So what is it, they, they, they bring us all the way up to 80. So it's a 93 to 94. So we were good with Willie McGinnis, 93 to 94. We go pay 69K, not the full amount, again, that they're showing us there, and then we complete those sets relatively cheap. All right, and, and everybody's happy, and we pretty much are good to go. So 93 to 94. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and grab that card, and um, Willie McGinnis, 93, right? For 69, and then we're good to go. And that's pretty much it, guys. We complete the sets, we upgrade, and then we move on. And we know that we've done the best possible, um, we've done, we've gone the best possible route to complete what we've done with the amount that we've had. So we got two team of the year players, two for that, for that amount of price that we just spent. 
and then most of you guys are gonna you know take the food for thought and figure it out to make it so it's a lot easier for you to get a lot more but this is just for you guys to understand I gotta work on the budget. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm not out here trying to act like I got ridiculous amounts of coins and doing whatever I want. I gotta act on the budget. So that's that's the way we work. So now we simply go ahead, we add them into the lineup after we, you know, we completed the set and we are good. We are good to go. All right? We're a little bit dead broke, but we're good to go. And if you guys have cards that you're not using or a lot of packs that you haven't opened, start opening them and then completing those sets and getting that stuff done. And you will like uh, the differences in your players, obviously when you up, uh, you know, you know upgrade them and get that additional strength and you get that additional speed because you obviously see the differences in the players. All right, so this is what he's gonna look like and everybody should be good to go uh, with the situation. 94, 93, strength is at 90, which is a little bit low, I don't like, but 98, 92, 95 with all the block shed and everything else. So hopefully this has been informative to you. If you like it, definitely subscribe, turn on post notifications for more. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.